Welcome back, Butter and Seven Seven here. Today I'm going to be sh do starting a new series called Redstoning for Noobs. So, this in this tutorial I'll show you basic redstone. Ready? Let's go. Okay, the redstone torch provides a redstone signal for redstone. The basis of redstone, obviously. Okay, the stone button provides a one second signal to redstone. The wooden button applies a 1.5 second signal to redstone. Got that? Now, the tripwire hook can be activated with string. Like so. And obviously breaking string. So if you walk on the string, then we'll activate this redstone. Okay. Ready for the next thing? Okay. So, a lever will apply a redstone signal for 15 blocks. And to carry out the signal even further, it will be have to use a redstone repeater, which will carry out another 15 blocks. And you can keep using these redstone repeaters for as long as you would like. Okay, the stone pressure plate and the wood pressure plate are almost the same, except for this wood pressure plate can be activated by items that are dropped and by boats. These weighted pressure plates can be used in a lot more ways, like this. You can drop redstone as much as you want and it'll activate more depending on how much you put on. Up to 15 still, I think. Okay, the redstone block is like this, in the way where you can only power blocks, like that's the only purpose it serves. But you may be asking, why not just use a redstone torch? Well, redstone torches are mainly used for this. And this is extremely useful, especially when it comes to this. This is the Tower of Torches. It can go up to this high. Well, you, you can make it higher, of course. Anyway, yeah. Lever activated a redstone torch on a block will bring up the light. And certain things like buttons can only be placed on blocks. Same with this. Like these, you can turn on and off by the way. These are day daylight sensors. What they do is they detect daylight. So yeah, it detects the sun and the brighter it is outside, the more of these, the longer a signal it sends. These are my personal favorite in Minecraft, are the hoppers. They're extremely useful, especially for this. They keep switching in between each other, any items inside. So if I put, go ahead and put this redstone in, let's put this redstone here, and it'll slowly drain into the other one, but the other one's feeding into this one anyway, so it'll keep switching into only one. And if you apply a redstone signal to one of the hoppers, then that hopper's, like, frozen. It can't do anything. So it'll just keep it inside of itself. Also, you can drop items into hoppers, unless they're powered. So I can throw it into this one, but not this one, because it's receiving a redstone signal. Okay, time to do something a little more fun. I like to call this the double piston extender. What you do is you set this to two ticks, and this one to four ticks. This one must be set at a longer time, because pistons can't pull pistons that are already extended. So it does this. Now, one characteristic of pist sticky pistons are that they push and pull blocks, like so. And they keep it. Well, let's say you don't want it to keep it, you want it to just leave it right there. So you would make what this is called is a to toggle flip flop. You heard me, a toggle flip flop. This just does this. This is all the redstone it takes. And that works on the Xbox, by the way, and there's quite a few uses for that, as I'll show in the future. And this is a clock. It's basically a torch running into this repeater. And you know how I said that power, redstone's power, powers blocks and turns off this? Well, this cycles that. So it's pretty much awesome. Anyway, another thing I need to show you is the redstone comparator. This is useful if you would like 
to show whenever some kind of redstone is being activated. And it powers anything. So, you know, like this. So if I go ahead and put an input in, let's get rid of that, then this will keep getting powered because it swatches through them. Hold on. See? It receives power. As long as there's items in here. Now if there's only one in it, then it'll flick on and off. Basically c capturing the same thing this does. So that was your quick tutorial for noobs of how to do basic redstone. I'll make more longer and more expansive videos in the future with that go in more depth. Anyway, this is your basic redstone tutorial. See ya!